The DevExpress ASP.NET MVC Image Zoom extension provides you the ability to display images in high resolution detail. Image Zoom combines two image zoom effects. Hovering over the image displays a zoomed area, and clicking on the image enlarges it in a full screen pop up. Let's take a look at the options available in this demo. You can disable the hint displayed in the left top corner and disable the expand window that displays a full screen pop up with the high res image. I apply the changes. Now the hint is not displayed and clicking the image doesn't invoke a full screen pop up. The zoom window can be displayed at any side of the image. The zoom window can also be displayed within the image borders so that you can zoom inside the image. You can also change the opacity effect applied to the mouse box. The large image load mode option allows you to define the large image load behavior. For example, you can load a large image via callback only when an end user hovers the cursor pointer over the small image. Another great feature is the image zoom navigator component. It displays a set of thumbnails and clicking a thumbnail makes the corresponding image active within the image zoom extension. Setting the active item change action option to hover allows your end users to change the active image not only by clicking a thumbnail, but also by hovering it. Now let's look at how to add an image zoom extension to your project. Here in Visual Studio, I have an ASP.NET MVC project that is ready for using the DevExpress ASP.NET MVC extension. Let's take a look at the project in the browser. You can see that the content area is empty. Let's return to Visual Studio. In the index view, I add the image zoom extension to the view, specify its name, type get HTML to render the extension to the view, then I specify the path to the small image within my content folder, and a path to the large image. And that's it. Let's take a look at the result in the browser. Here you can see the fully functional ASP.NET MVC image zoom extension. Hovering a small image invokes a zoom window and clicking the small image invokes a full screen pop-up with the large image. Let's return to Visual Studio and add an image zoom navigator extension. I'll add the image zoom navigator extension specify its name, and then bind it to the folder with images. The Image Zoom Navigator will automatically generate the images of the required sizes for me. To do this, I should specify the cache folder that will store the generated images. If the folder doesn't exist, the extension will create it. Then, I define the height and width of the small image. large image, and thumbnail. Now I associate the image zoom extension with the image zoom navigator. To do this, I set the associated image zoom navigator name property value to the image zoom navigator name. And that's it. All the images generated by the Image Zoom Navigator will automatically display within the Image Zoom extension. Let's save the page and take a look at the result in the browser. Here you can see the fully functional Image Zoom extension that displays images from the Image Zoom Navigator extension. I can select any image and see it magnified. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.